fucking dragged it into the woods and um and I buried it there. <laughs> Was it dead before? We, oh shit. Uh hey guys, it's fucking it's the fucking Marty and Michael fuck off cunt. Full action. Coming actual. at you coming at you straight out of the streets. We got hood rats. We got hood rats today. We got the beef. Sorry about the late uh podcast coming out. Um we were in Sydney. And it was also a real fucked up story on there, and so it was hard to edit. Yeah, we had to cut a fair bit. If and if yeah, and if for some for whatever reason we can get into trouble, it's not true. But if we can't get into trouble, then it is all. It definitely happened. One hundred percent true. Anyway, what this? Do you reckon we, we lost subscribers from that story? We definitely lost uh, dignity, dignity, and um, like pride that we don't have any or self respect. And lucky, we don't, lucky we didn't. Yeah, have any anyway. Yeah, well, I had a little bit, but yeah, no, that's gone. No, mine went as soon as I ripped the... F- actually, as soon as I ate dog shit. Yep. So when you were seven, hmm. um, we were at a Facebook event with lots of other fucking people. Lots of other fucking Facebooks. Oh, come come around, content creators from all over Australia to Facebook headquarters in Sydney and, <coughs> and we'll have a chat about everything. And then about 80 of us rocked up and, you know, lots of cool people there. Some like, you know, t- old TV celebrities, lots of people from Facebook and Instagram. And then they taught us how to do Instagram stories. Yeah. Which we already knew how to do. And they told us like how to monetize Facebook videos, which we already do. Yeah, we do know how to do that. But we knew how to do most things. But But we we, sort of met some cool people, I guess. Yeah, we met some cool people, so that was nice. Yeah. But yeah, seven hours of listening to things that we already know how to do. Yeah, and the flights each way cost us about one fifty. Yeah, so free. We got to invoice him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they'll send an email. I don't think he can invoice for such a small amount. Yeah, true. Because I don't think one fifty is even really, like, do they have one hundred and fifty dollars? dollar fifty, one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Do they? What are they like coins or something? One hundred and fifty dollars coins. I don't know. I don't really use anything under than five hundred dollars. Yeah. I don't even mention it. I usually don't even say the number unless it's five hundred. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you tell people to add on more money to pay for things. If sometimes I'll drop four hundred dollars. Just it falls out of my pocket, four hundred dollars worth of coins, and you, I, I don't even pick it up. You will order a meal, pay for it, eat it, then you'll pay for it again, and cool. not even get that meal again. You'll just pay for it twice. Sometimes I just like to order things. Yeah, and then you'll throw it in the bin, or just leave it. Like I'll just order and then walk away. Yeah. Ordering is the best part. It's quite fun. Anyway, what well, else happened this week? You went to the movies and saw a Toy Story four. Yeah, is it good? Yeah, it's alright. Fucking um, what else? Oh yeah, I'm not drinking for uh, six weeks. Six weeks going sober. It's one week yesterday. <coughs> Not even a problem. He's fucked. He's, he wouldn't even attempt to do that because he's fucked. Just every day, two hmm. cartons a week. Hmm. But yeah, I'm just not touching it for six weeks. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. What do you replace it with? Water and um, milk. Why milk? I don't know. There's just goats in our neighbor's yard. No, no cows, thank fuck. Yeah, yeah, no. There was, <laughs> but... Um, they were escorted away. <laughs> I think you were escorted away. Someone in the area was uh, sexually assaulting them. <laughs> Did they kill them after they fucked them? No, no, they got roughed up a bit though. Eh? <laughs> they got fucking roughed up good. <laughs> Bruises oh. all over their hips. <laughs> One had a snapped hoof. <laughs> One's face was beaten so badly, both its eyes were closed in. <laughs> and you could hear it mooing all night, but <laughs> so they had to. Yeah, someone in the area there was doing that to them, so they had to remove them from the neighbourhood. <laughs> so now you can just have goat milk. Yeah, yeah, I just go and feed on the goats. Was the person fucking the cows interested in the goats? No, no, goats are like it's like another animal. It's, it's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, okay. Pretty gross. You even think like that? Yeah. Yuck. But cows are fine, right? Oh, you know, obviously. If, People out there do that. That's that's up to them. Maybe maybe they shouldn't have been so violent. But at the end of the day, some things get people off. Some the people, ca- some, yeah, the, some things don't. Some things don't get them off. Some things do. The cows might have liked off. it as well until they got beaten up after. To, oh, I think they like that too. Like they can take quite quite a hefty beating. Like they're heavy, solid creatures. Quite a heifer beating. Yeah, like it was. Uh, it must have been. 45 to an hour's worth of haymakers just left right hooks to that fucking thing's head <laughs> to get it to the state that it was. Lucky it was cornered in a small little backyard. So the guy, wh- whoever did it, 
just had to sort of herd it into the corner, isolate it, <laughs> and then just fucking lay into the thing. Bang, 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 bang. God, you know, he was puffed. He was so puffed after. The guy <laughs> who did it was so physically exhausted. He had to go lie down for two so days. So he didn't fuck it after he beat it. Oh, no, that was a bit of fondling and fucking halfway through it. Uh, okay. I, I would imagine. Will the cow be able to see? I'm not sure, to be honest. I haven't spoken to it. Well, no one has spoken to it, <laughs> whoever did it. But it's alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last I saw it was still moving. So. <laughs> 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 All right, that's shit talk. Today's date is the 27th of the 6th, 2023. And on this day, the world's first ATM was installed in London in 1967. And that ATM is still there. Imagine seeing the first ATM. You wouldn't trust it. You wouldn't yeah. fucking trust <clears> it. Do they <throat> have cards back then? Or do you just go and say, well, like, well, how does it work back then? Do they have fucking... It's like, like 50 years ago. So what, they put cards in? Like, I wouldn't trust an ATM if it was the very first one. I would never use it. Oh my God. I'd think, a, I'd think a really clever thief had installed it and that wanted to take my money. Anyway, in 1979, heavy, heavyweight Muhammad Ali retired for the third time. What, why would he... F- oh, I guess he just... Want, he-, he got bored and he didn't have any enough Parkinson's yet. Who would win out of Floyd Mayweather well, they're and two Muhammad? Different, they're two different weights. Oh, He's God. a heavyweight. Just everyone be the same weight. Yeah. Well, Ali would win because he's just so much bigger. It's not Doesn't fair. he... What, he he flies like a butterfly and, and then he buzzes like, like a cockroach. A he stings like a cockroach. In 1988, Mike Tyson KO's Michael Spink in 91 seconds. Did you know that Mike Tyson is a convicted rapist? Yeah, I did know that. Anyway, famous birthdays. Khloe Kardashian turns 34. Wow, oh, there you go. She's only uh, four years older than me. So when is I was... she the... She's the prettiest one to me. No, she's... um. She looks like the... Uh, what's it called? The fucking thing that runs through the bushes? The Yowie. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a Yowie. Khloe Kardashian. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Okay. Tobey Maguire, who played original Spider-Man, turns 43. That's how old he is now. 43. Whoa. When he played Sp- Spider-Man, the original, he was only 19. No. Yeah, I lied. That was like 15 years ago, so he would have been shit 19. our age. God. 19. We're going to be 43, 43 like that. that. There you go, guys. Those are your birthdays. And to anyone else's birthday out there, statistically, some of our viewers, it will be their birthday because we have millions of millions of views and listens. So happy birthday if it's your birthday out there. You get out there and you go, you fucking you have a if you're gonna have a good day, you get put them put your mates around it and you have a put a party, celebrate it, put a drink uh put a drink down and drink it and then don't don't go to work. Well you'd hope not on your birthday, right? <clears throat> All right. All right. Then that brings us to our next segment which has been Yep, it's uh, got a new name. Short though. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just it just <coughs> simply says here in brackets, um, the noise that a llama would make if being chased by a wolf. That's the new segment name. No, that's not the name, but he wants obviously wants me to try and make that noise. Um, all right. So I imagine that noise would be. So this is the title of the segment. It would be. Um, <coughs> <coughs> And of course, this segment, we just answer fan questions. So we have some fan questions sent in via Instagram, and now we answer them right now. First one is from Francis X Co. She or he has asked, when are you going to do some crazy shit like you've been doing? Uh, we can't really do that crazy shit no more because Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok won't let us. But... Mm, here's the but. We are starting our own little subscription website, www.martyandmichael.com. We got merch there. We got all the shit there. Go on, have a cheeky look. There's guns. We sell guns. We sell guns. Real guns. So if you... And also, we're going to be starting a... All of our deleted shit, all the shit we can't put online anymore, we're going to upload there. So And all you have to do is like $5 a month or some shit. It's not available right now. We'll let you know where it is. But yeah. So that's where we're putting all that crazy shit. But yeah, the reason we can't do as psycho as shit anymore is because we will get deleted from the internet. Yeah, we'll lose everything. Yeah, it sucks. Sucks hard. We can't do what we want. (laughs) Now, the next question is from Tyler underscore Hill with four L's. God, my eyesight's going. And he or she has asked, why are you guys so much better than Paris Hilton? (laughs) Well, uh, Paris Hilton... Is uh, partly responsible for the fucking 
chain of hotels that she owns, the Hiltons. And no. part of the reason, I guess, that we're much better than her is because she runs a disgustingly shit, unorganized, <clears throat> fucked up hotel chain and charges people thousands of dollars. That's why. No, her parents do. And she's an entrepreneur. Fuck off, she is. Go she's- and he- her- hear a song that she made like 10 years ago. It is fucked. Even though the stars are blind or some shit, it makes me sick. Yeah, look, she's she, she was a sex symbol when we were growing up, but fuck me. She's far from a business person and her chain of hotels can get fucked. They can get fucked hard. Hmm. Did you ever watch The Simple Life with her in it? Yeah, I did. I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Oh, check out this. This is one of our fans. She probably listens and watches, but anyway. One of our fans, Michael's got his, his sc- screensaver on his phone because she's so fucking morphed and <laughs> fucked in the face. Oh, man. We'll probably have to blur that. That would kill her. Yeah. Or him. I don't know what it is. <laughs> now... That's what we love to talk about. Oh, I've done something to my elbow. Yes. Yes. Oh, I need a shit. Yes. Oh. Wait. Did you hear that? No. Sorry. Fucking cut. Right, this is from T A E T A A A A E E E E E. Which, of course, spells Tay Tay. <laughs> is cereal considered soup? soup. Great question. I think maybe the dev- we'd have to look up the definition of no, soup. No, because you cereal's got crunch. Soup is like a syrupy. What fucking- about what about pumpkin soup with croutons in it? Huh? What's what's a, I've never heard a of crouton. A crouton is a small dry bit of bread, very crunchy, very crunchy. Yeah, you mainly have bread with soup. Yeah, well there you go. So you're saying it's not soup because it's crunchy. Pumpkin soup with croutons is also crunchy. I think we need no, to No, because it. you don't have milk in soup. Yeah, you can. What about if you had a creamy Asian type of soup? I'm sure there would be some sort of cream, <clears throat> creamy, milky dairy product in there. For shizzle, we'd have to look up the definition of soup to answer this properly. But I don't think that cereal is soup because maybe it's not something that's cooked. It could be a, a criteria of soup. I don't you know. can have cold soup. Yeah, but it's already been cooked. Yeah. Next question. Ha! <laughs> Is from Lachlan McDonald. It's Donald with a triple D on the end. How do you come up with your pranks? Great question. Great question. Great question. Great question. It's just been years of just. We've always fucked with each other since high school. Yeah, so it's just a matter. It's it's just an op- opportunity. It's just <clears> a, a matter of fucking. We just around each other so much, and then we like to fuck with each other. So we just randomly. Just I don't know. It's hard to explain. Something will just happen. We'll be in a certain scenario, and then there will an opportunity will spring up where one of us can fuck with the other, and then it'll be like, oh, that's a good idea. Let's keep keep doing that. It's constant too with Marty because what he'll do is even though I was at the airport the other day and I had to go through security, and he just yell out at me as I went through, and since I beeped because I got so much jewelry. He's, He's like, oh, get rid of the drugs, Michael. Get rid of the drugs. And they're begging, begging the staff to strip search him. Yeah. He was there for a long time. He kept yeah. me there for like 15 minutes. Which was hilarious. Thinking, hilarious. Almost missed the plane. <clears throat> very funny. Very, very funny joke. I don't just know. Find just... friends that you can prank and don't take life too seriously. And then it becomes like just every day. I think, everyday thing. I think you've got to be a bit twisted though and all, but always be looking for a way to fuck with someone. Always. Mm. Mm. It's always on your mind. All right, those and that's, th- that's that's question. that's questions. All right, the next segment has been renamed, and uh, this time it's um, uh, a foreign word, I believe. Um, I'll have to check my pronunciation. I'm not sure what language it is, but um, it looks a heavy, a heavy word. So the next segment is called. That sounds a bit German. I'd say maybe like Turkish. Turkish, yeah. Maybe like the Turkish way to say, <clears throat> hello, do you want to come over for um, a cup of tea? Yeah, that sounds like the way they talk, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you accept in Turkish. Yeah. That's how you say, yes, I would love to come over for a cup of tea in Turkish. I, I think. Look We're not up. 100% sure on that. 97% sure. Yeah, well, almost. Almost sure. All right, and this is a segment, of course, where we just read uh, news headlines and uh, and then just comment on the fucking things. 
All right, our first headline is from the Daily Mail, and they have said, Trying to pop it was the worst thing I could have done. How a man's tiny pimple turned into a lump the size of a golf ball, and it could have killed him. Holy shit, this... In six weeks, a Queensland man's small zit turned into a golf ball-sized pimple. Oh, it turned out to be a common type of cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. So, it's not a fucking pimple, Daily Mail. It is a cancer. Jesus. Wow. So, uh, God, that headline is so misleading and that I want to just fucking hit someone. Yeah, dude. If I ever met someone that worked for that company, I would go and do jail time. Jesus, it's not a pimple at all. Yeah, enough N- of that. <clears throat> Next story is from Metro. Pumped to death by a pet camel. <laughs> 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 all right. It was fucked to death. <laughs> That's, you've done that to many animals. Now it's the animals getting back at humans. Oh, look, if I was put in a room with a camel, I think I could <clears> fuck <throat> it to death before it fucked me to death. But it'd be, it'd be fun trying. I'm not 100% sure, but it'd be a bloody good laugh trying. <laughs> <laughs> he got fucked to death by a camel. Right, what look, a way to die. A randy camel has killed its woman owner after apparently trying to mate with her. <laughs> The 10-month-old animal weighing 150 kilo knocked exotic pet lover Pam Weaver to the ground before trying to straddle her. Her husband, Noel, who gave her the camel as a 60th birthday present in March, returned home to discover his wife's body on Saturday. That's fucked up. That's one of the worst ways to go, I think. Oh. Fucked to death. Like, like, imagine if you could choose your... Like, how embarrassing also. Dude, and- the husband would be so, like... Firstly, he created that situation by buying the camel. But imagine, like... He, he'd be a little bit jealous yeah, too because yeah. it's like you you I, and he got the I last... let I let the creature in or the man if it was a man camel in to fuck my wife and then kill her yeah he got the last the camel got the last fuck in the so last in load up her and then she died yeah and imagine the funeral the snickers that you'd be snickering everywhere I would not want to be able to keep a straight face she died doing what she loved <laughs> <laughs> Getting fucked by a 150 kilo camel. Oh, and they'd have a hu- they would have a huge fucking dick. The the animal had a history of erratic behaviour, often trying to straddle other species during the, including the family's pet goat. Wow, so this camel is just a fucking freak. Look Whoa. at it, very muscular hind legs, <clears throat> taut, tight upper body, a little bit like a cow, long, thin, muscular neck. Mm, yep. That's a good looking thing there. <laughs> <laughs> Two voluptuous humps on its back. Yeah, something well, to grab onto. Long, thick hair. Oh, yeah. Something to run your fingers through. Nice big bulging white eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clean white teeth. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. There you go. There, so don't get, go near fucking camels. Anyone who lives near camels, <clears throat> don't go near them or, or don't turn your back to them because they could fuck you to death. Yeah. Oh, wow. You could get fucked to death by a camel if you lay your guard down. You always be on guard. You always be ready for a cock if you're around a camel. So Egyptians, be careful. Pretty sure we've got camels in Australia. Yeah, of course we do. They're everywhere, all through the fucking middle of it. All through the middle of it. Near the big rock. Yeah. All right, the next story is from the Daily Mail. Hmm. <clears throat> it kept me to eat later. A Russian man looking like a mummy is rescued after spending a month inside a bear den after the predator broke his spine and saved him for a future meal. I actually, saw, actually saw this on Facebook, and I think this is semi-legit. Yeah, he looks quite dirty, doesn't he? They've just got photos of him, and he looks like a... He looks like a corpse. He's alive. Yeah, he looks like he's a very thin old man. He's balding and he's just covered in dirt and blood. And wow, there you go. The bear was saving him for a future meal. How did he get out? I think that someone must have found him. Oh my and dude. He's, he's rescued from Bear Den that after one is, month. That's a story. Wow, you'd think that fucking that would be you'd think you'd become friends with it. Yeah, I know what you'd fucking do to the bear. What would I do with it? You'd try and fuck it. Mate, he's got a broken spine. Yeah, you... Uh, He's still got arms free, I guess. Yeah, you try and toss it off for sure. Well, yeah, you could still perform. I would definitely try and befriend it. And if that meant performing sexual acts to survive, yeah, of course I would do that. I think anyone would in that. You'd, okay. So I would, I would try and convince the bear that, that you know it's, it's better keeping me alive by tossing it off, giving it, fellating it. Would you suck it off? 
Yeah, of course. Yep. <laughs> I would suck a bear off to save my life. I think anyone would. No, you do it because you. you okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you lo- okay. I, I guess say, I it's not a with, cow. A bear's not a cow, right? I say that with pride. I would suck a bear off to save my life. Yeah. But yeah, bears aren't cows. That's fun. I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next story is from US News. Florida man with no arms charged with stabbing man with scissors. How the fuck does this work? A 46-year-old homeless man with no arms was arrested in Miami <coughs> Beach, Florida for stabbing another man with a pair of scissors <gasps> using his feet. <sighs> Whoever got stabbed is a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Just walk away from... If you see a freak with no arms sprinting towards you or crawling towards you, whatever you call it, and it's got scissors in its toes, <laughs> back up, first of all, and or like run away or or just like... Punch it like if it's got I no just arms. Shoot it dead. It's already half dead. It's got no arms, so you just like it's only got a little bit of range with its legs. So you can just easily avoid it. Yeah, dodge. Use your fucking dodgeball skills. And get it to the ground. Remove the scissors, and then just fucking have a feel of it. <laughs> yeah, you can easily sexually assault that. Thing. Anything anyone tries to kill you, you have a license to sexually assault them. That's true. You That's can true. feel them up. Put your thumb in them. Do whatever you want because they've just tried to hurt you. Yeah. They're not going to go to the cops. They just tried to kill you. And put it, away this, put it this way. Like, murder is worse than sexual assault. Yeah. So you haven't really done anything wrong or they've done just a little bit more wrong. So you'll be fine. Or get the scissors and cut his legs off. See how he stabs people then. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror. And they have said... You can now buy scented flatulence pills which make farts smell like roses. Jesus, you'd have to be so fucking worried about your fart smell to buy this. Some people like cares? have bad farts all the time. Yeah. Or how, how have undies not been invented that, that just hold on to it? Holy shit. We'll put that on our shop. We'll put that on our merch store. Check our shop. We'll have absorbing smells. Fart absorbing underwear. Hmm. For the sick fucks of the world. Hmm. That is the end of story time for this week. Which brings us to our next segment, which has been renamed. So this segment is called... <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> I just, oh, he's just... Oh, he's just... I can't him. <laughs> just dead. And basically, this is a segment where we just talk about an old story. And this week, the story is about love... Oh, this is not, this is about hate, bad, this is bad shit. No, this is a story about love, compassion. It's a story about hope. It's a story about inspiration. It's the time we, it's our favorite brawl that we've ever been in. Because we won. <laughs> we've been many a brawls, not for a long time, but because we were quite cheeky back when we used to get on the fucking diesels. <laughs> and um, more often than not, we get the shit beaten out of us. <laughs> yeah, we did. But this time we won. All right, so this is a particular story. Let me set the scene for you. This happened about three weeks ago. How long ago, do you reckon? Ten years? Fuck, I was probably... Ten years. I was 19, I reckon. Happened about ten years ago. We were at the races. It's like a big... You just go and watch horses run around a fucking field and get pissed during the day. You pay like... Yeah, for your ticket and you get free piss all day. We were with a, a big group of friends, and uh, which helped. And um, I can't even remember how it started. Oh, I, no, I can tell you how it started. Yeah, Michael is usually at the beginning of all of our brawls. So go on, Michael. Take it from here. <laughs> well, I was... Okay. I I had <laughs> one of our dear friends at the time, Jessica. Her name was got bullied by another girl for her skin. She had bad skin at the time, so she had pimples, and it upset her. And I felt bad for our friend, so I went and hurt the other girl who paid out our friend you with a physical her? feature about her. What'd you say to her? Well, yeah, she had a bad haircut, so I just said, you know, you, you like what your haircut haircut's bad. It? There's a bowl cut. A girl had a bowl cut. So that's that. You're worthy. You, you should be bullied if you have a bowl cut. Especially, you know, even both sexes. If you're a dude or a chick, it's shit to have that haircut. Anyway, she hit me and I said, that doesn't change the way you look still. And she, then she hit me again. Well, she slapped you. Yeah, she kept started slapping Michael. And and just, she, she had like fucking a group of guys behind her. And then, um, so everyone just sort of came together. And there was lots of pushing and yelling. And um, but we it was it sort of <clears throat> cooled down, fizzled out, and then we went our separate ways. And then about three hours later, 
We um, I was you know with our group of guys, and Michael was a couple of meters away, and I remember seeing their group of guys talking and, and edging closer to Michael. And then I was like, watch this, there's going to be a fight here. There's going to be a fucking fight. And sure enough, seconds later, they, um, I can't even, what they? They went straight for the back of my head. <laughs> started, started punching Michael in the back <laughs> of the head. And like, I was, like, I had a ripped shirt. I was so fine. I went down to the ground. And yeah, Michael went down. We all ran in and just picked them all off. And, and it was. One by one, took yeah, them out. Just like, and we were like, and just beat the fuck out of them. And this never happens in brawls yeah. and weird. We were, and we were left completely unscathed, and that's not even the best part. They were all fucked up, and then, and then the Security cops came. came with cops. Yeah, and then pulled us all apart. Yeah, and then the witnesses were like, "No, no, these guys started it." So they all got fucking kicked out and escorted out by cops. Probably One was arrested. Fully pissing blood all over his. And shirt. we were just laughing and smiling. Yeah. And, oh, and, I and, love doing the kiss, blowing a kiss to someone when they're like. Walking away with security or a cop has them is the best feeling. They would have felt like shit. Oh. Start a fucking fight and then, oh, get kicked out and escorted out by a cop. They didn't touch any of us. Apart from me, but oh, like I'm invincible, so it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, this shows that. Get into fights. Kids. And win. <laughs> Only get into fights that you're going <clears> to <throat> win. And if someone's throwing a fist at you. Get out of the way. Dodge it and make sure you connect with your fist. Yeah, so, and then throw a punch back and hit them in the face. Don't not hit them. And if you miss, then you could be off balance and then they could try and hit you again. Which, in which case you, again, just move your head out of the way. And only do it if they oh, fuck, deserve is, it. Yeah, which is most people. So do it to every, anyone that pisses you off. Even if they haven't thrown the first swing, just go up and king hit people. Usually when they're not looking, I find is most effective. If they have their back to you, a big wind up, fucking let them have it right at the base of the spine. Try and kill them. Yeah. So if if you're at, if you're listening out there, just just fucking go out and fucking start king hitting cunts. Practice on your parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that's the time. That's our favorite brawl story. All the others are shit because we get our asses kicked by. Yeah, I've had locked jaws. Remember yeah. the time I couldn't eat for like three months? We've usually, but we are usually overwhelmingly outnumbered. Yeah. One time I got hit and I couldn't open my mouth for three months. All I <laughs> ate was McDonald's chips because he could slide them in. Me <laughs> too. God, that was a shit three months, man. That was a shit. I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> But yeah, fights, don't get into them really, kids, unless yeah. you're going to win. Yeah, we were joking. Don't get into brawls unless you are confident that they deserve it and that you're going to win. Yeah, unless you have to. Hmm. Self-defense. Hmm. And, right. Or use a gun. Just shoot them. Yeah, yeah. Always be packing heat. Or if you're in a, uh, you can't afford a gun, you, like there's the fucking your kitchen that has so many, there's like an array of different types of knives. Go and just have one. Or the garden shed, axes are good. Rakes. I've killed someone with a rake. Uh, was it a human? No. <laughs> I bet you it was a fucking, what, a cow? Oh, no, it wasn't a cow. It was like a uh, car. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a little possum thing. Okay, sugar glider. No, it was like, uh, it had like a beak. <laughs> oh, a platypus! No, it had feathers and um, oh, a duck. No, no, but it, it was running on two human legs. So a mythical creature? Maybe I don't know. Whatever it was, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got the rake and I slapped it. I slapped it to death. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this brings us to our uh, our final segment. <laughs> Which, of course, has been renamed to uh, Segment 5, Prank Call. Oh, there you go. That's actually what it's been renamed to. Let's hope that that name sticks. And this, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's nice having a segment that actually applies to what the segment is about. It's just a prank call. <laughs> it's just wow, a prank call man, this week. You're improving, kind. Have their office in Milton there in, in, uh, in Brisbane, <coughs> of course. They sell concrete. And, uh, yeah, just let him know that he's, he's doing better. All right, for this week's prank call, I'm going to have Tourette's. Oh, how, is this offensive? This is very offensive. But there's probably like, what, 0.0001% of the population have Tourette's. Yeah, so, but yeah. like if, this, the, if you have Tourette's and you hear this, you shouldn't be offended by this. It's just what fucking people with Tourette's sound like sometimes. If I had Tourette's and someone was making fun of me, and, and well, not making fun of me, was trying to sound like someone with Tourette's, that'd be funny, because it is funny. Fuck's sake. 
Well, it's like sometimes you get like you pretend to have a lazy eye, and like that's. Does that mean that everyone with a lazy eye should be offended? Yeah, well, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. thing about being offended. It's a choice. Your choice. You if you're offended, fuck you. You don't need to be offended. Just choose not to be offended. So for this week, <clears throat> I will be pretending to have Tourette's whilst ordering pizza from Domino's. <laughs> should we go with an Asian restaurant again? Cool. All right, here we go. We're calling a Thai restaurant this time just because the Th- pizza places are on to us. Thai restaurant. I've got Tourette's. I've got Tourette's. Um, hey, would I be able to please place a uh, pickup order? <laughs> Shit. <Yep. Fuck> it. <clears throat> um, do you guys have uh, what sort of curries do you guys have again? What, which, which are the main types? <laughs> Shit. Fuck it. Mm. For the curry, we have red curry, <laughs> green curry, creamy curry, jungle curry, roasted duck curry, oh, shit. masman curry, oh, curry, sh- and gang curry. Piss it up the wall. Can I just get the uh, green curry, please? Shit. Fuck what that. meat would you like? Uh, can I get... Do you guys have uh, prawns? Fuck. Yes. <clears throat> shit all over the bricks. Pardon? Yes, we do. All right, sweet. Can I just get a prawn green... Fuck it. Piss it up the How wall. How spicy would you like? Uh, can I just get... What are the levels of um of spice? You tits, tits and milk. Uh, medium, hot, very finger. hot, super hot. Say finger. It. All right, let's go. Um, su- fingers, <laughs> fingers, super hot, please. Super hot, yep. Um, and then do what? What types of uh rice? Oh, shit, what rice do you guys? I oh, fucked it up. Oh, that's wankers. We have fried rice, combination fried rice, steamed <laughs> rice, garlic rice, coconut rice. <laughs> I'll just have the coconut rice, please. Regular one or large one? <coughs> I'll just have the uh, regular. But fuck it. I fucked yes. it down the house. Oh, shit, there's a fire. Would just, you like anything else? Yeah, yeah. Can I also get. Um, uh, let's go some. <coughs> oh, oh, shit, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, there's a brick in my house. Can I just also get some spring rolls, please? Yes. And. Um, Hang on, I'm just waiting for my friend here. Oh, oh, big shit on the bitch. Oh, that's a bitch head. Oh, snap its neck on the piss. Also a, um, uh, what, what other curries do you guys have? Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I've just, uh. Muscle man curry, that's the one. Muscle man, shit. Yeah, muscle man curry, please. <laughs> uh, beef, please. Oh, piss, there's piss in my shit hole. I fucked that bitch to death. Hello. Just uh, for beef, please. Beef curry How with spicy? that. Um, can I get it? Uh, super spicy. For ah, oh, there's a brick in my house, you bitch. I'm gonna snap myself over your car. <laughs> Um, can I also get, um, what other entrees do you guys have? <laughs> I can't see anything. There's a car in my house. We have fatty chicken, fish cake, spring roll, bunch of pot. Uh, what sort of drinks do you have? Fuck, there's a fucking priest in the house. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't see. There's a bear in the building. Oh, there's a... Sorry, I couldn't hear you, Will. Um, can I also get, um, the prawn rolls, did you say you have? Do they have money? Honey chicken. Oh, no, there's a bear. There's a bear in the house. Ah, I slapped myself. I fucked it. Oh, shit piss. Wanker piss. Shit in the car. There's a fucking house tip. Sorry, I'm just... Hey, sorry. I'm just going to have to uh, cancel that order. My mother, mother's just come home with a gun. And she said I'm not allowed to order any food. So, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Fucking hell, man. It's hard having Tourette's. Whew, like that stressed me out. That stressed me out. Man, we are... That is... <laughs> that's our Scre- new place to call. Screenshot that number. We are calling them every week. Yeah, well, they're just wow. up the road. She's put up a, with a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know oh, what I said. I can't even remember what I said. Yeah, you got pretty fucked up, eh? Hey? It was really h- h- distracting at how cool it, she was with it all. Yeah. You know? Like, it was just... Like, I couldn't... I was like, kept thinking to myself, how the fuck is she okay with me saying this? I reckon she caught on to the fact that you were mentally disabled or some shit. (laughs) (laughs) 
And it definitely got a little fucking Ooh. more intense as it went. But anyway. Man, well, that was impressive. Like, yeah, you had me in stitches. Yeah, she was. She didn't find it very funny. She's wanted that cash. Very she's good. She's a good col. A good. She's a good employee. colleague. A good. She's employee. a great colleague. She's a good work colleague. Great colleague. All right. So this week coming up, we have we filmed two videos today. You might be able to see my lips are very bruised. Um, we did the Kylie Jenner video, the, the challenge, and it works. <clears throat> yeah, for certain people that can get their lips in there, I I couldn't get the suction. Well, I think that um, Michael was a little scared of what he was going to look like, so he didn't really commit. Um, so I chose looks over science, yeah. apparently. But uh, yeah, so new videos coming out next week. Be soon, back to normal upload time every Monday for podcasts. And if you have time, go to our website and uh, don't buy anything. Just have a have a look, like most people do. They they you know they'll put it there. The products in their cart and then come check out time they won't fucking press the button and don't forget that we are the, the best. best we're, we're the, the best. best we're, we're the, the best. best we're the 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 best, we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.